Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar then we'll run through the UK Met Office run have a look at the precipitation and temperature as we do head into this upcoming bank holiday weekend where we'll be have to look at the precipitation and temperature through Thursday Friday and starting to look at Saturday as well and then we'll have a look at the mid to long range with the GFS GM Eastern UF and the ensembles so does it like the second half of this weekend into Saturday and Sunday does look like it's going to be turning drier and warmer, potentially much warmer. Some areas in the south getting towards the mid-20s. Still uncertainty though, exactly with those temperatures just because of cloud amounts and any showers. And in the longer term, it generally does look like it's going to be high pressure dominated, still showers around and generally around or above average in terms of temperatures. Just do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure to like and subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. So to start on the live radar, we are now seeing this really showery and cool weather that we have been talking about for the past five days or so. A lot of heavy showers around, some thundery showers, but most of them are moderate to heavy intensity. Um, and not a lot of lightning activity or anything like that, so just generally moderate to heavy showers quite widespread especially in the north and those temperatures are pretty chilly today max temperatures in around that 14 15 degree mark if you're lucky and you get sunshine but most areas in around sort of 10 to 13 degrees you can see some heavy showers some heading into the london area one near nottingham very heavy shower there up into the northeast through parts of ireland and scotland as well a lot of these heavy showers and they are spreading very slowly eastwards spiraling around the Low pressure that's the thing about these showers today they are very slow moving and they will be even more slow moving tomorrow um, and potentially even heavier tomorrow uh, and more widespread so another day of showers tomorrow and cooler conditions for it slowly turns a little bit drier towards the end of this working week or at least uh, Wednesday time, Thursday, Friday, looking drier. Still some showers around, but not this widespread, and those temperatures will start to rise. Now, if you look at the temperatures, you'll be able to see a lot more blues and sort of fainter yellows on the charts today, instead of any oranges, which are now only exclusively across parts of France and southern Europe, as we've got much cooler air spreading in. The isolated area, as I said, has got towards that 15, maybe 16 degree mark, but most areas are in around that sort of 12, 13, 14 degree mark. Much chillier than it should be this time of year, and it feels cold out there, especially after having seen multiple days of 20 degrees over the past few weeks, uh, or 20 degrees plus, really. So yeah, cool conditions, but it does look like towards the end of this week is going to return for uh, the Jubilee weekend, return back onto the high teens, low 20s, quite widely, and potentially mid-20s for some. So we do have a look at that in detail, we'll have a look at the UK Met Office run, have a look at the precipitation and temperature over the next five days. You can see at the moment, or early this morning, a lot of showers around, you can see even a little bit of snow over the peak of the Scottish mountains. Um, it's not too unusual, but... This air mass is cold, um, but as we move through the day, you can see all these showers eventually sort of petering out, but still maintaining their strength in some areas for reinvigorating tomorrow, especially late morning, real uh, convection taking place. Some sunny spells in the far south and west, but most areas are cloudy and quite miserable. Those showers will continue to spiral, and by Wednesday, you can see things starting to dry up a bit. Still some showers around, perhaps not quite as widespread, and more sunny spells, especially especially in the afternoon, and by Thursday, some showers and a little system moving in from the northwest, and this is a little low pressure system, exactly where its track goes will decide the precipitation and cloud with this, but most areas in the south and the east especially are bright and sunny, and through Friday that system moves through, giving a few showers here or there, maybe some heavy showers through Friday, but generally it looks drier, and through Saturday you can see a couple remaining showers in the far southeast, but most areas are dry. And so you look at those upper air temperatures, we're getting up very warm potentially in the south. And that is because of um, higher, pressure, higher pressure building in, uh, just looking generally much, much nicer. Now if you look at the 2 meter temperatures, you can see this afternoon really struggling in around that 12 to 14 degree mark. A few areas perhaps seeing 15, 16, an isolated 17 degrees, but again most areas are not, not going to be seeing that, or have not seen that, sorry. 
for Tuesday, you're going to see those temperatures perhaps rise a tad more in the far southwest, where we avoid the, sh the, the biggest showers, but still widely sort of 10 to 14 degrees, maybe the isolated 15 to 16 degrees. But by Wednesday, a bit more widespread, sort of 15 plus degrees, more yellows appearing, maybe 18, 19 degrees, as we slowly start to see those showers dissipate, head further eastwards, and by Thursday, widely getting up towards the high teens low 20s for the first day of the bank holiday weekend many areas low 20s yes showers around feeling much much warmer by friday even warmer for some potentially 23 24 degrees in the far south much more pleasant much warmer and drier where we see these higher temperatures but of course when we see precipitation a bit of cloud it will hold those temperatures back significantly and as I said by Saturday likely to see that spread even further as you look at the pressure charts you see high pressure is in control and that low pressure is just drifting away to us far southeast and we do have much warmer air masses mixing in so do now have a look at the mid to long range, have a look at the GFS, GM, Eastern DF and the ensembles to finish the video. You can see that low pressure moving in from the east at the moment, much cooler conditions. And it does sort of dissipate through Wednesday and Thursday before we see that other little low pressure system move through through early hours of Friday. And that's why there's still shower risk through Thursday and Friday. But high pressure firmly built in through Friday evening into Saturday. Much drier conditions, looking much nicer. And yeah, looking really pleasant. Warm air masses potentially pushing in even to early next week. And dry, for low pressure, tries to push in from the far northwest, which could turn things a little bit more unsettled. But we are getting into the uncertain time frame now, towards day 10. So have to take these charts with a pinch of salt. Beyond that, high pressure is still firmly in control, uh, and yeah, it'd be really quite dry, and in the longer term, perhaps a little pressure coming back in from the northeast, turning things a little bit cooler and more unsettled, but still this signal for quite warm high pressure to be in control. Now, if we do have a look at the 850 HPA temperatures, you can see cold at the moment, upper air temperatures, much cooler than average. Warmer conditions, though, arriving by the end of this working week. And you can see that 10 degree ice firms close to our south by Saturday, Sunday time. Uncertain if it does reach us, uh, could stay just in the channel or just across northern France. But regardless, it's still a warmer air mass. And you can generally see we are pretty warm in the longer term, getting that 10 degree ice firm through eventually. That would take temperatures into the low to mid 20s before eventually perhaps some cooler air coming in uh, a little bit around this higher pressure towards the end of the run if we do run it back and have a look at the temperature deviation just to show these in perspective look at the temperature deviation much colder than average four to six degrees below average but you come towards the end of this uh, weekend at into uh, that colony weekend you can see getting towards sort of two to four degrees maybe even six degrees above average by Saturday, Sunday time. Um, and of course, that is sort of regional as well. So it's likely to hold on to the cooler conditions more in the north um, and warmer conditions more likely in the south. But of course, low pressure moving away to our south and east, so potentially more showers. So it depends really what you like, where the best place in the country will be. Uh, in the south, potentially warmer, but we make more showers into the weekend. North, potentially turning drier faster, but remaining a little bit chillier. Um, not cold by any means, but potentially, potentially only high teens. So do you now have a look at the GM run, see how that does compare. Again, low pressure over the top of the country at the moment. High pressure does build in eventually through Saturday, a bit quicker than the GFS run. Very nice day on Saturday, and again, a very nice day on Sunday and Monday, before low pressure does try and run in off the Atlantic. But high pressure trying to hold on could be quite a thundery outcome there. If we look at the upper air temperatures, are much cooler than average. Warmer air does eventually filter in by sort of Friday and Saturday time, just to our south, moving in, and we're firmly under high pressure for Sunday. Really quite a nice day, it looks likely, on Sunday. Uh, 10 degree ice firm getting in as well, so mid 20s is possible for low pressure tries to run in and could give some thundery showers potentially. Now, just for the last sort of operational run, we'll have a look at the ECMWF, see how that does compare. Again, low pressure moving in with cooler air mass, high pressure firmly building over the country. Haven't got that little low pressure system dropping in from the north, so it would be much drier and warmer a lot quicker than the other two runs, interestingly. And yes, we have low pressure trying to run up from the south, potentially on Sunday. That could give some thunderstorms, but it would be much 
warmer, getting temperatures into the mid-20s, perhaps more widely. And again, if we run back and have a look at those upper air temperatures, you can see that high pressure does build in with much warmer air masses. And by sort of Sunday, Monday time, it is much warmer. 10 degree ice firm moving through. Look at the temperature deviation, much warmer than average, potentially four to six degrees above average. And right towards the end of the run, we are looking really quite pleasant and warm. So do finish the video by having a look at the ensembles. You can see all these runs well reflected, or the GFS runs. You can see cold at the moment, turning to around or above average towards Thursday, Friday time, and staying well above average for the weekend by a couple of degrees, and staying generally above average for the foreseeable future. Yes, there are some precipitation spikes. So high pressure will be in control, but it won't be completely dominating in terms of making us completely dry. There are going to be showers around. There will be showers around probably this weekend, even though it's going to be warmer and generally drier than what we had at what we're having at the moment. Um, so yeah, showers still around, but generally drier, and those temperatures are going to be warming. Uh, you can see operational run dipping some cooler air in there in the longer term, as we saw with that bit of brief northeasterly wind, not showing anything really within the ensembles. Most of them are more, warm, much warmer. Look at the two meter temperatures, you can see it's going to rise significantly in the next few days, cold at the next day or two, and then towards Thursday, Friday time, getting up towards the high teens and low 20s for the weekend. And of course, these are ensembles, so they are lower resolution. Once you get high resolution models on this, uh, especially Saturday and Sunday, most likely mid 20s is possible for some areas. And in the longer term, generally looks low to mid 20s, very possible because as we head through June, we're getting warmer and warmer air masses, we're getting stronger and stronger sunshine, and uh, uh, and, uh, and warmer and warmer soil temperatures, all these things contribute uh, to mean t mid 20s is much easier to obtain than it is in middle of May. So, yes, it does look like longer term we could be seeing warmer conditions for more widespread areas, even if those upper air masses are not that warm. As long as they're around average, maybe slightly above average, mid 20s is very possible in the right conditions. Now, after you finish the video, but just have a look at the ECMWF ensembles, see what they're showing. If we look at the midnight run, you can see cold at the moment, turning around or well above average towards the weekend. 4th, 5th of June, so end of the weekend into start next week, potentially up towards sort of 8, 9, 10 degrees at 850 HPA, a good 5 degrees above average, mid 20s, very possible with that, and staying generally above average in the longer term. Quite a few more precipitation spikes, but as we always say, there are 50 ensembles here, so there are always going to be more lines, but uh, it does show you that with the warmer air more likely to be some instability so showers and thunderstorms and that's something we'll have to keep an eye on near at the time and if we do finish the video but just have a look at the two meter temperatures you can see generally temperatures rising uh, and towards the weekend high teens low 20s quite widely and potentially mid 20s as i said and you can see the longer term some really warm runs getting to the high 20s maybe in 30 degrees when we factor in sort of microclimate conditions as well does look like it is going to be turning drier and warmer for this Jubilee weekend, so I hope you can all go out and enjoy it. And in the longer term, generally, it does look like drier and warmer. Not hot by any means, no heat waves and no bone dry conditions. Still going to be plenty of showers around, but it's not going to be an absolute washout. But it is still going to be, uh, it is still going to be some showers around. But it will generally be, there will generally be some very decent conditions for quite a few, and of course, warmer conditions, uh, which I think a lot of people will appreciate as well. So anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again for another video soon.